Hello again. This is a follow-up from the two other ones that I've uh, recently published. Uh, the last one was something I did on them, on spontaneous, on the new and full moon symbolism. And, um, and uh, I wanted to follow up, again, the first one, the first video in this series, uh, with the idea that this was an experiment. It was an experiment to see one of the astrological techniques in action. And that is to look at the new and full moon degrees in a horoscope, see if it hits, see if it's in alignment with any of the natal symbolism, of the, the natal planet degrees. And when the full moon and new moon uh, uh, triggers off, as it were, a natal position, whether that's the ascendant, the sun, moon, Saturn, whatever it is, by square conjunction or opposition, within a degree of um, of accuracy, it has to be very close, then what I've been proposing and what has been proposed for a long time in astrological theory is that somehow that position is charged up, ready and waiting to be triggered off in some kind of external event, some kind of showing in the collective or in the personality or even in the body. Um, and it's very interesting, for example, since uh, last time, um, we've seen, and I talked about Trump, we have seen this uh, general condemnation of his comments about certain uh, female uh, congresswomen. Um, uh, but nevertheless, this is what I was showing, is what I was saying about Trump, uh, that he's highly volatile emotionally, and you, what you get is a kind of honest portrayal of his inner feeling. Uh, you know, this Mercury in Cancer, this uh, Saturn in Cancer, Venus in Cancer, very, very sensitive to emotional criticism. And he simply bursts it forth because his moon is in Sagittarius, opposed to the sun in in uh, Gemini. So there's this a lot of talk, to, you know, Gemini has a lot to do with twittering, you know, twittering used to be something to do with um, uh, birds, I suppose, you know, and they just chat and everything else. But this is a, a, a an expose, if you like, of his inner feeling, his feeling of hurt that that Cancerian can often have, or those those Cancerian planets. They take in comments and immediately, especially with Mercury in uh, Gemini, uh, Mercury in Cancer, as Trump has, this is kind of immediate emotionalization of what has been said. I have Mercury in uh, Cancer too, uh, and I tend to use that more in my psychotherapy. Uh, I listen to the way people say things and uh, the, the sentiment of, of the way people say things. The words that they use go into me and it, it, it folks a kind of uh, sentiment or an emotion in me. It can be psychic at certain times, but I'm not sure it's psychic for Trump, but this Mercury in Cancer has a, a, this a, a sense that um, he needs to, you know, with the Mar Mar Mars at conjunction, the center, but the Mercury in Cancer, words have meaning. They have emotional impact for him. And if they're a, a criticism, obviously, he fights back quickly. So we've already seen this with his commentary on certain uh, criticisms of, against his uh, border policies and so on. Uh, and we can see this starting to emerge. It's only tomorrow it's the actual date, but the degree uh, symbolism of the full and the new moons occurs at any time, two weeks before, two weeks after, and with the eclipse. Uh, as we had on, I think, July the 2nd, this is supposed to last, this degree, symbolism of sensitivity, is supposed to last about six months. So what I'd like to do today is uh, look at a, a, a couple more charts that have been uh, appearing or appearing on our television screens with the news. And um, so I'm going to share one now. And uh, let's see. That we can share this chart here. I hope that you can all see this. Um, as you can see here, this is the chart of Jeffrey Epstein, who is a uh, billionaire in the United States and has uh, finally, after many different kinds of uh, exposés and talk behind the scenes, has finally been uh, sent to jail uh, for an impending trial on uh, exploitation, sexual exploitation 
charges. There has been a lot on the internet about the so-called Lolita Express, named after the uh, person that was forced into uh, uh, sexual exploitation, Lolita. And uh, there are various other people that have been brought into the picture, well-known politicians and so on. Well, people in power like Epstein uh, have a way of covering things up. Um, they have a way of uh, being able to use their position in some way. We must not, of course, um, uh, uh, preempt the uh, the outcome of the trial that he is un uh, uh, undertaken. But I just wanted to look very carefully here, uh, just simply about the new moon, which was at 10 degrees 38 Cancer on the 2nd of July. And what do we see? His moon. His moon in Aries, interesting enough, is exactly the same degree and um, and my and minutes and so it is squared by this moon from the third house this new moon degree which was at as I say 10 degrees uh, 38 and it was square this moon you can see the moon rules the third house about a commentary about uh, 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 saying things about documents coming out about people just coming out of the open if you like the 12th house often keeps a kind of um, secrecy, something held back. Uh, Noel Till has a great phrase for planets in the 12th house. Famous astrologer Noel Till, been in astrology a long time, used to come up with these wonderful aphorisms and his work suggests that something is working behind the scenes. The 12th house is somehow invisible, it's occluded, it's, it's secret, it's hidden. And this moon shows a, uh, a kind of strong emotionalism with Aries, an instantaneousness, if you like, of, of need. Now, and with this uh, Venus conjunction, um, Mars here in Pisces, uh, there is a tendency towards uh, a very powerful uh, sense of sexuality and so on. Again, this is not my point to uh, um, show the trial or prejudice the outcome, but we can see that something of this moon, something of his emotional nature is about to come out into the open. And the new moon position, you see, was exactly square this, exactly square it. And so we can see something coming out into the open and the new moon position forecasting that. And of course, Pluto is uh, by transit is square this Neptune. But what do we see about the 24th degree of Capricorn? Well, the 24th degree of Capricorn was the full moon point. And uh, what we see here is that the Neptune is involved in this full moon point. You see, with Neptune, we often get scandal and we get social disgrace with the uh, uh, Libra here. Uh, but we don't know what goes on afterwards, but we can start to see the symbolism of this uh, full moon degree triggering off quite, quite clearly. Quite, and something happens in the collective to expose the person in some way. Now let's also have a look here at another chart. Um, uh, what I'm going to bring up is Angela Merkel. Let's do that and uh, let's hope we can come on here and share the chart. Let's have a look here. Angela Merkel has recently been in the news, and today too, uh, over the last couple of weeks, for these shakes that has been going on with her hands, indicating a mercurial element and a Gemini element. Gemini, by physiological astrology, rules the hands, and, but the hands are often indicating of the nervous system too, which is represented by Mercury and Gemini in general. There's something going on with her health here, clearly. Maybe it's a build-up of tension and pressure uh, that she is under on an emotional, and, but it's being released, again, this mercury and cancer, through the nervous system. Now, remember that uh, the new moon degree was 1038, so it's just a, a, away from a degree of this mercury. And the theory is that it emphasizes it. it it's kind of stores up the energy. And I, I do think that um, 
uh, what will happen is that more expose, because Mercury here rules her ninth house, there's going to be some public announcement of some kind about the state of her health and uh, what she is going through. This could all be nervous, Mercury, tension, nervous emotional tension, but I suspect very much with this Neptune here, again at the 23rd degree, of a, of a cardinal sign that this 24 degree Capricorn new moon, remember 24 degrees, so it's hitting off this. So in the next couple of days, when Venus goes over across this and before the end of the month of around about the 31st, maybe the 29th, we shall see some kind of announcement. Neptune in Libra, very similar to um, uh, Theresa May, very involved in the European project, very involved in social peace, and, uh, and I think um, put her political career in, in many ways into Europe. And uh, she, you can see here this uh, 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 inheritance from the Germanic nation. I, I believe her motives were absolutely right to go for the, absolutely right for her to go into this idea of a, a Christian, um, uh, a loving, humanitarian outlook. Her father was a Lutheran minister, and she and she was the leader of the uh, Christian Democrats, I believe, um, or the Christian Democratic Union. I can't remember which. But you can see here that she, that her her emphasis and her political ideology are, are, are somehow now, and her position with Neptune are under threat. In other words, it brings out the new moon emphasizes the degree and as you know that Pluto is around about 21, 22 square to this, I, uh, uh, this Neptune and uh, the, the veil of Angela Merkel, the, the kind of ideology and the what, what motivates her career and her profession as a conjunction here um, will come out. I have a nagging suspicion with this Chiron opposed to her son uh, Uranus conjunction here, which indicates often the nervous system, a highly volatile system uh, here. Well meant, uh, uh, I think she's wedded to the ideology. She has uh, completely uh, 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 convinced of, of, of what she's doing, but this this full moon on here brings out the difficulty of it. I have a suspicion that this is an inheritance, a, a, a biological or a, a genetic inheritance in her nervous system of some, some degree, or she may have been taking wrong medication for something. Either way, we can see again the full moon and the new moon coming out in full force and being exposed. So, I'm going to stop that and I think I'm going to bring up a couple more charts here that might be of interest. Um, we've looked at this before, uh, but this is the chart of uh, Julian Assange and I want to share that with you. We can see another 24 cancer. So the full moon is on the third ninth house axis and it, it again triggers off this now at the end of the month when mercury goes across this very degree the 31st 31st of july we see mercury triggering off the degree we will hear something about the fate of julian assange i think it will be perhaps an announcement of a, a judicial announcement of some of some kind and um it, it reflects again the pluto opposition the Pl opposition mercury but the new moon uh, the full moon on this degree accurately reflects this idea of um, something being triggered off, something showing, and it, this reveals to me um, the forecasting um, prominence of new and full moons. And you can see again the eclipse point on this sun at 1038, and I see in my ephemeris here on the July the 2nd that 1038 was the exact eclipse point. This man, who I've talked about in other videos, I think I did about four videos about him and his plight, 
this man is uh, uh, in the public eye at the moment, but it is probably in a very, very difficult psychological and physical position. There have been lots of difficult things are going on, but uh, being behind bars, being occluded from view, uh, or we hope that this eclipse, you know, who is temporarily eclipsed, may also invoke this Uranus in the ninth house, because in the in the eleventh house. I have a feeling that an announcement at the end of the month will be made about the fate of this man. And of course, I wish him well. For those interested, I would draw your attention to my other videos. This video is about the experiments, the experiment of looking at the full and new moon degrees to see what they have to say in certain charts. Okay, one more, I think, that we'll bring out here. Uh, we've looked at the Donald Trump one in a previous video. Sorry, let me just take that off. Let's have a look at the USA chart. Wow. Let's uh, see if I can just share that coming up here. Sorry about the slight delays, but here they are. Okay. This is the chart of a nation. And uh, Pluto, by transit, has been moving across this for a number of years, indicating a transformation. It successfully passed the square of Saturn, which is often in an age of chart is so devastating because something really has to change in the personality. Something has to change in relation to that planet. Um, uh, but what we get here is, again, this 24-degree Cancer. And remember, uh, the law of uh, in, in, in political astrology, when you get the leader of a nation, queen, king, president, uh, you get the law of subsumption. And what that means is, in astrological precedence, is that the, the, the um, chart of the leader has a connection to the nation. And you will recognize here from Donald Trump's chart that Saturn is exactly conjunction this Mercury. There is something in the chart of the nation that his Saturn is binding together. It's pulling out. It is saying something about the underlying features, if you like, of the American system, of the American structure in um in political terms and in financial terms and you see here mercury rules the second house and so and mercury is opposed to pluto uh, um, uh, so what we have here is a uh, 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 tr donald trump in his industry terms his saturn conjuncts this his saturn his control his his way of um uh, uh, announcing uh, what he wants to do uh, and how he wants to lead the nation into a particular direction to be me first, to be America first, to be somewhat, not necessarily isolationist, but um, he has a cute eye here, a, a, a strong eye on the uh, finances of the nation. And Mercury too here is being um, triggered off or energized or brought out uh, in, in, with the full moon at 24 uh, Capricorn Cancer Axis. Again, a public announcement. We can see that, that, that towards the 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 31st of uh, the end of this month, something rather large is going to be announced. I don't know what it is at the moment, but you can see that Mercury is a significator of his open enemies as well. As the 2019 election comes, uh, we're, we're going to see a lot of opposition, a lot of things that are going to be said. And uh, it waits to be seen how this Mercury in the eighth house, the secrets, if you like, of the nation, the uh, deep fears of the nation are being shown or exposed or brought out into the open by this uh, uh, very powerful and controversial figure of Donald Trump. 
So it just leaves me to say that uh, when we look at these full and new moon degrees in the charts of prominent people, we can start to see things happen. In the previous video, I mentioned that when these degrees, it, it, it kind of like charges up the native planet, but when these degrees are hit off by later on transits, um, uh, then you can usually see uh, showings, physical showings, events happening, which shows that the energy underneath, or the energies described by the uh, symbolism, uh, comes through. Now, uh, for the astute viewer, you may have seen behind me a bobblehead there of President Nixon. This was very, this was a present given to me by Frank Clifford, um, uh, quite a famous astrologer in his own right, uh, um, a, a, the, a very uh, a important figure in astrology. And um, he bought me this in New York when he, when he was over there last, uh, uh, giving some lectures, I think, to the uh, astrological uh, uh, people in, um, in America. Uh, but it's quite interesting, too, that I put it there because President Nixon had his Neptune at 24 Cancer 2. And uh, even people after they've gone, a long way after they've gone, uh, astrology, whatever President Nixon was as a as a uh, as an energy form is still alive in the collective. Astrology doesn't have time it's very you know it doesn't have a kind of restriction in time whatever energy passed through nixon through his neptune in the 11th in cancer will be being triggered off as well at this point and i'd just like to introduce this idea i mean it's very very fascinating in president nixon's chart that uh, both the sun and his uh, moon uh, were hit off you know i i think neptune was on his sun when when there was a release of Oliver Stone's film, Nixon, in the fifth house. Neptune on the sun in the fifth house. And there's, there's a film, Neptune, about Nixon's whole life. Somebody that brought it to the screen in such a wonderful way and gave, his, gave a, 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 an announcement of the person's ambiguity, his good points, but also his bad points, where he went wrong in his life. So I have a feeling that at some point during this month or during the next six months, that uh, Nixon's personality, again, will be rising on the ascendant, as it did with the Frost Nixon, um, uh, played by uh, Michael Sheen. What a beautiful, and um, I can't remember his name, but it was a good film about that confrontation between Frost and Nixon. There was also a triggering off in, in Nixon's uh, horoscope, even though he died uh, quite, quite a while ago, I think in 1992 now. Um, but nevertheless, it's showing that the energies brought in by people are still alive. So we shall watch out for that one in the future. Thanks very much.